with uh, you wanting to be famous, all these decisions you make, you kind of always are living into the future. Do you ever get lonely with that? Do you ever feel like you're, I, you're not satisfied? You're not. It's definitely a mistake, you know, and I think that's a very common mistake that people have where they're not actually living in the moment. I think the phones and the social media and all that stuff make it a lot more difficult. I mean, you're just so distracted. I feel like people never feel like anything's enough these days, you know? I feel like everybody's looking at what everybody else is doing and they're setting these like super high fucking, you know, benchmarks for what is, you know, the kind of the minimums or what they want to achieve. And so I think it's, you know, it's pretty common um, where people are more focused about their, or more worried about their future than what they're doing at the present moment. So yeah, I'm probably as guilty of that as anybody. I was going to say that, like, you know, normally we'll have a guest on and they'll say, you know, Facebook or Instagram is, is perpetrating this certain lifestyle via their technology, or their approach. Nobody's more guilty of making people feel shitty about their lives than Dan Bilzerian. <laughs> like, let's be completely fucking honest. You know, do you ever do you ever feel guilty about that, about all these, you know, nine to fivers or, you know, or, or the idea that these people may, you know, feel a certain way because they don't have what you have? You ever feel uh, like you wanted that? That's an interesting question. I, you know, for me, it was always kind of. I don't know. I, it was like bucket list, right? Like, so when I made a bunch of money, I was like, you know, I'm just going to fucking put this online. I'm going to do everything that I wanted to do as a kid that I <laughs> couldn't do. Like my parents had money, but I didn't have access to that money. So it's like, I just wanted the fast cars. I wanted to fuck the hot girls. I wanted, you know, just all this shit. I wanted freedom. So I just, just went fucking hard. And, uh, I wasn't really worried about whether or not I was probably negatively affecting other people or not. I felt like it was like watching a TV show and they were tuned in and I was kind of just only really worried about myself, to be honest, as far as that goes. I wasn't, you know, I didn't even consider it. It wasn't even like a, you know, am I, I mean, like later I kind of like looked at that. I'm like, you know, I don't, I definitely don't want to like have a net negative impact on the world. That's one of the reasons I wrote that book. So I wanted to like set it straight and give people like the full story. Cause I felt like they had the Instagram story. They had like the highlight reel, whatever. But I wanted to give them the good, the bad, and the ugly. I mean, there's plenty of fucking embarrassing shit in there. There's, you know, plenty of stuff that I feel like people probably would not have, you know, put out there. And so, yeah. And I, and I also touched on, like, you know, doing, you know, the charity aspect and stuff and, like, how that probably – I mean, I touch on there pretty deeply on pleasure versus happiness. And I think a lot of people get caught up in pleasure-seeking. I mean, I was fucking head-on into it, you know. And – I don't think that's going to equal long-term happiness. And I don't feel like a lot of people understand the difference between pleasure and happiness. So I tried to fucking outline it pretty good in there. And I think I did a decent job. And I think I'm one of the few people that can actually tell people, you know, that the pleasure seeking isn't the fucking answer because a lot of, you know, I mean, Bill Gates tells you, I'd be like, yeah, okay. Who's the fucking hot chicks you've been fucking motherfucker. You know, what do you know about this shit? You know? So it's like, from a guy that's done it, I think they have a unique ability to then speak to people about like, okay, you know, I've done all this shit. It's fun. Don't get me wrong, but it's not the answer. It's not going to lead you to happiness, you know? So, um, and, and, and I think understanding the difference between pleasure and happiness is very important because pleasure functions like a drug. It's like, you know, you get that spike, but then you have to do more to get the same spike. And then eventually you just have to be doing it to not feel like shit. And I feel like pleasure seeking stuff is very similar in that sense so how did you revert and 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 find that thing that was the through line that made you happy or um, did you? Or, no, or, or did you i didn't really find the happiness i just figured out that the pleasure stuff was not the answer like because i took it to a fucking level where i like i went beyond what more was better see for like a period it was like more was always better mm. like i took you know two chicks on vacation and i'm like banging one chick and the other one's just sitting there and she's getting jealous so it was like it wasn't the best and then i took three and then you know that was a better dynamic because i could bang one and the other two could hang and whatever and then four was better and five was better and but when we got to 30 <laughs> it was not better it was a fucking headache and i was like pulled in all these directions and it wasn't you know it, it wasn't more enjoyable and so i went to the links where it actually became you know um detrimental to go further and so i think once i got to, i don't think a lot of people get to the end of the road you know, and I went to the end of the road with pleasure. And so I think I have a unique um, ability to understand that that's probably not the fucking answer. Yeah.